why do I do it? Why do I keep in on this young fella's game? I have my family. I have my pastry business. Is that not enough to prove that I'm a man? I do it because I'm good at it. I do it because it makes me feel alive. Fighting. It's my anti-drug. Fighting in beer. The world is already full of violence and pain. Am I only making it worse? But in the ring, I like to think I can wear it all for a few minutes. The world is full of so much violence and pain, and that always makes the coolest looking movies. In the ring, I like to think that I can look that cool. If I can withstand the battle and rise against my enemies, maybe we all can. Maybe we can win this fight. If I can beat the other guy quickly, maybe I can get a lot of attention and free stuff. So, I suppose that is why I do it. That is why I do it. I do it for the free stuff. I do it for hope. why it's a real lunk. Do you think I'm doing the right thing? Well, if not, you're just doing the left thing. <laughs> that, that really doesn't make any sense, but it sure sounds good coming from you, Sugar. Serena, that tickles. Someday I'm going to be a fireway papa. Why do you want to be a fighter, Serena? Because it makes you strong. <laughs> oh, am I strong? Yeah, you're strong even when you eat all cupcakes. Oh, Rich, that reminds me. I finished making that shirt you wanted me to make. I don't know why you put that, though. We sell more than just donuts. It's just misleading. Well, actually, hon, I, I was hoping that, that you would wear it. What do you mean? Oh, uh, never mind. It looks great. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're ready to watch a brilliant rumble tonight! I guess it's time. And I'd like to give a big thank you for all those who made this underground extravaganza possible. The fighters, 
their families. Building security for, frankly, not doing their job. And let's hear a big round of applause for our food vendors! And now, will you please rise with me for the singing of our national anthem? By the alluring, the talented, the wonderful Tipsy and the Sips! Proud to be an American. Where? Hey, look at me. Let's get you ready. You can do this. You gotta win this thing. Get you ready to get it. Because yeah, the fight is hot and the fight is spirit. You are going to crush this guy. Crush him. And the fight is hands. These hands are strong and reliable. We're gonna crush him like like an ice crusher, and then we can use him to chill our beverages. And also sexy. You have really sexy hands. Okay. I mean, this is your moment. Seriously, I like, want these on a calendar. This is my moment. Shut up, you snapping your fingers. This moment right here. Slipping on a pair of silk gloves. And then all those other moments later when you're actually in the fight. What's happening? You were born a fighter. Just know, when you go out there, start swinging these bad boys around. Mom's uterus didn't stand a chance. You got the hell out of there. I will be watching. I know, I know. You always are. Let's introduce our fighters. In this quarter, at 220 pounds, he's the president of Payland, the ace of agony. In the third grade, he wore camel shorts and had bus cut. It is Wyatt the King King. <laughs> and in this corner, weighing a whopping 250 pounds, he's the CEO of Bucky King, an avid collector of KOs. And he makes a mean buttercream. Reginald, sexy hands, Cooper! <laughs> Gentlemen to the center. <laughs> oh, keep it civil, keep it civil. Shake hands. All right, to your corner. Ready for round one. I do it for the hope that no one else will ever have to endure such torture. The hope that Serena will not follow me into the ring, but that she may rather follow the fight out in the world, where she will beat the real monsters and the real enemies. I do it while constantly wishing I could do so much more. I always thought that I would. But it's like that one quote from Boardwalk Empire actor Michael Stahlbach's IMDB page. Things never go the way you expect them to. That's both the joy and the frustration of that. I'm finding as I get older that I don't mind though. It's the surprises that tickle me the most. The things you don't see coming.